This is a quick video to show you how to use Skyward Gradebook. Once you have logged into Skyward, what you're going to do is select Teacher Access as shown here, right here, and you will choose My Gradebook. And this is going to bring up all of the classes that you have, and you select the period that you want to work in, and you choose Gradebook. What this does is it brings up a traditional gradebook system. You have several tabs across the top here and what you can do is choose classes. You can change the class that you, the period that you're working in by choosing classes here or you can go to assignments and this is where you would add assignments or see the list of assignments that you have already created. You have your attendance and you can take attendance by name or by seating chart if you already have one. This, these are your categories and you need to make sure that your categories are correct. For uh, most classes you're going to have major and minor of 60% and 40%. If it is an AP course the percentage for major is 70% and the percentage for minor is 30%. And you always need to check that and make sure that those percentages are correct. Right here you have posting, which we don't really use anymore. Um, uh, in the past you had to go in and manually post those grades, but it does it automatically for you now. Your reports is, are where you can see like an attendance report on an individual student or a class. You can see a grade sheet report that lists grades for the entire class or by an individual student. You can do progress reports. Um, you can print a class roster for a substitute if you needed one and different things like that. Here you have your display options where you can go in and set up the display to look uh, different. You can customize it, change the colors that are used by using the tools in here. And then quick, quick scoring which is a, an option that allows you to put in um, a whole column of grades as as one grade for instance you could add 100s for an, an entire column. You'll see your student name here listed and then also you have an icon here that will give you more complete student information uh, such as phone numbers to call home, um, email options for parents, that sort of thing. You can also get to uh, like the discipline reports for a student or a um, just any other kind of information that you might want on that student will be listed there. Let's take a look at adding an assignment which you will need soon. The first thing you would do is go into assignments and click add an assignment. You check the category that you want whether it's a major or minor assignment. Typically a minor assignment would be like homework, daily work, major assignments could be tests or quizzes that you would give. You need in the description you would give the assignment a name. So for instance, I'll call this test assignment. And then if you want, you can give it a de detailed description, but it is not mandatory. You have uh, dates where you can go in and, and assign that it the assignment is due. The most important one that you need to be aware of is the actual due date. Once this date occurs, it actually will show up in Family Access. So you want to make sure that whatever date is set there that you have entered the grade assignments by that time. Otherwise it will show as a zero on the parent and student sign even though you may not have put the grade in. So that is very important that you make sure that, that if, if for whatever reason the date changes and you need to bump that out farther then you go in and change that so that you don't get uh, phone calls about zeros in the gradebook when you really didn't have a zero in there. When you're creating an assignment, if you're, it's an assignment that you're going to use in all of your class periods, you can go in and check these boxes here so that the assignment is automatically created in those classes as well and you don't have to recreate it for each class period. Once all of the information is correct and you uh, have it set up like you want it to, to be, you click Save and back to go back to the original gradebook screen or you can add another assignment in by doing save and add another. Right now I'm going to do save and back 
and now you can see right here for this student I have a test assignment in there let's say the student had completed the assignment and was ready I'm ready to put my grade in I click on the asterisk here and then I can go in and add the assignment in there once I've added the grade into the assignment I click save and I'm ready to go for now though I'm going to delete this assignment so that it's not still in there and to do that I can go back I click on the assignment title I can go in and delete it here or if I needed to change a parameter in the assignment I can click the edit button but for now I'm going to delete So now you can see that that assignment is no longer there. Just a quick thing uh, about the grade book, you have some different categories here. PR1 is, stands for Progress Report First Six Weeks, which will be coming up in about two weeks. That's uh, the grades that you've entered at this point would then be uh, available for the parents in Progress Report form. And then CZ stands for Citizenship and then at the end of the six weeks the final grade for the six weeks will show up in this column which stands for first six weeks